Welcome to the College of Knowledge. This time, sustainable ways to generate energy and electricity. Aiming to solve Africa's energy crisis, he has invented a prototype that generates electricity and cooking gas using organic waste while purifying water. He has established the social enterprise Everlasting Technology. Here is McDonald Chirara. Hi everyone, my name is McDonald Chirara and today I would like to share with you my journey. This is a journey I couldn't control but however could manage to maneuver it. Over 600 million people in sub-Saharan Africa, which is approximately 70% of the population, are still living without electricity. My story begins when I was part of these statistics. This was when my father made a bold decision that we as a family were going to relocate into a new residential area which was not yet connected to the national electricity grid. So every household did not have electricity. Whilst other kids at night could watch TV or read a novel by lamplight, it was simply not an option in our case. Fast forward. My family managed to buy a solar system, so did most of the people in our neighborhood. So we could actually have access to lights and power other electrical appliances such as televisions. But what still confused me, despite having these solar systems, people used firewood for cooking, they still succumbed to the expensive LPG gas. This is until I realized that it is really expensive for an average Zimbabwean to buy a solar system which can power up an electrical stove or a solar system which can power up an electrical oven. So most of the people resort to firewood. The situation has even remained the same in most of our rural areas and most of the peri-urban communities. It is now usual to see people carrying firewood or to see people even in our rural homes using firewood as the main source of cooking energy. And cutting down firewood is now resulting to problems such as deforestation and those deforestation is causing siltation and this siltation is going to fill up our rivers such as Sari. We may not feel the effects today but our children our grandchildren are going to feel those effects even in the future also um, cutting down firewood is causing things or issues such as climate change recently we had um, the cyclone Idai and some um, researchers are saying that it was caused because of some of the climate changes so those small things that people are doing can lead to very bad effects in the future after seeing this problem as a possible opportunity and also because of other random coincidental events, I came up with a solar journey with the mission to provide affordable energy, affordable renewable energy to each and every person here in Zimbabwe. So after doing several research on other renewable energy sources which we have here in Zimbabwe, one thing in came into my interest. This is called biogas. Um, at school, some of my friends even started calling me biogas. So I'm now defining what biogas is, not me. So biogas is actually a mixture of different gases, primarily methane, which is produced from the breakdown of organic material um, in the absence of oxygen or in anaerobic conditions. So, if we look at biogas from another perspective, it is actually a really cool thing because just imagine transforming waste into energy. We buy energy every day, but waste is something which is now considered to have no value. Transforming that into energy is something which is really good. As I was looking onto that case, I started asking myself, why are people in Zimbabwe not using biogas? Biogas is not very popular here in Zimbabwe. You may find one or two biogas digesters in the rural areas, but it's very, very rare to find a biogas digester in the urban area. So I started um, researching why do people in the urban areas of Zimbabwe uh, are not using biogas? Is it the people are very rich? 
they want to, to buy the expensive petrol, they want to buy the expensive diesel. Why are they not using free um, affordable energy? And also, as I always take my way back home, I always see heaps of um, organic waste being discarded at uh, um, undesignated areas. And um, uh, last year we had uh, cholera crisis, which was also contributed to this organic waste being discarded in undesignated areas. So as I was looking on the current biogas digesters which we have, the current biogas digesters which we have here in Zimbabwe, you have been termed inefficient by most people. These biogas digesters have also been termed um, robust because they require a large space, they require many cement bags, they require many bricks, they require a lot of labor, technical skills to, to construct, and some of them require a lot of waste. They have long retention time with low gas production, and other people think that they are disgusting. So it's very difficult to go and convince someone living here in Harare or here in Mount Pleasant to build such a structure. So as everlasting technology, we came up with an initiative and also an idea through research and experimentation to design a, bio, a portable biogas digester. This portable biogas digester is a do-it-yourself mechanism. Anyone can just uh, buy it from the shop and easily construct it and put it at the backyard of their house. This um, biogas digester is anti-smell mechanism. It's a smart biogas digester. This biogas digester now includes most of the technology to make it efficient. It also has a uh, high gas production. Also, with that biogas digester, it has pre-activated methanogen bacteria. These are bacteria which speed up the uh, breakdown of organic material. So with that biogas digester, in just a period of five days, we will have um, something. So we wanted to take this initiative further because we saw that now people can have um, cooking gas. What else can people do with the biogas? So I started researching at what in other countries, what are people really doing with biogas? Then I discovered that in some countries, people are using the biogas to generate electricity. But this is done at a very large scale. The biogas is used to heat water and the water turns into steam, but it is done uh, on a very large scale. But with my mission to provide energy in different different households, I wanted to come up with an in in innovation that could actually utilize the biogas into electricity at a very small scale. So I then ca came up with the thermal concept, which easily converts the biogas to electricity. So now this system is an electrical generation part. People can now use this system to produce their cooking gas at the same time generate electricity. So the electricity can be used to power up electrical lights and also other electrical appliances, such as television sets. So just imagine, only using your waste to have cooking gas at the same time to have electricity. So with that, we have made certain um, working prototypes and we are now pilot testing those prototypes in different um, communities here in Zimbabwe. Very soon we hope that we are going to launch the product in the Zimbabwean market. So the aim is to provide each and every Zimbabwean with access to affordable, clean energy. With this, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you.